Yo! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Welcome to the first actual hunt with the silencer, my 12 gauge silencer from JK Armament. Yep, she's tall, she's a beaut, and I smoked my first bird. Yeah, my uh, GoPro. Decided not to work on that one. Decoyed a couple singles. Let's go get this bird. Clicked it on, looked at it, I'm like, well, that sucks. But very first shot with the silencer, first one down. Potential for bands today, not gonna lie. Got us a good looking younger blue check. We're just gonna put you right here. Feels so damn good to be out here. Um, I got, I don't know, roughly, probably four dozen full body pigeon decoys, looking juicy, and a special little spot. So, solo hunt, no dog. Yes, no dog because of this. Barbed wire around the whole place. This is their little, I don't know, pasture place where they run their horses stuff like that so i don't want fred or judge barreling through the old barbed wire this morning but glad to be out here glad to have this beauty um been waiting for this day a very long time gonna keep the intro short hopefully keep spraying and praying hopefully we can get some more on the ground here <sighs> beautiful morning um i think i'm gonna throw some new batteries and a flock of flicker or two. I know these bad boys work. But a uh, little feed here. This really isn't even a pigeon feed per se. Um, long story short, the railroad tracks that I'm kind of by, birds have been coming out to these darn railroad tracks forever. And it's been a long time since I've been able to hunt these birds. Oh, I missed. Dad gum it. Oh, nice, three. That was beautiful, Bob. Man, that silencer sounds good, boys. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Tore them up. Oh, there's... Yes! One, two, three. We got four... <laughs> we got four down, boys. Yes, yes. So, not only am I rocking the silencer today, <clears throat> this bad girl right here, but I also have my plug in. So, three shells max today. I thought I'd just keep it legit. Uh, you don't have to have plugs in for pigeon. There's really no rules when it comes to pigeon, when it comes to, you know, am ammo, uh, silencers, uh, you know, extended tubes, whatever, right? Mm. Come on, y'all. Smash the old thumbs up for the silencer. Come on, been a long time coming. Five pack. Look at that single get in there. Oh, I dusted the second one real good. Go down, buddy. Oh, he ain't gonna make it. Oh, he did. Two. We got two out of that. <laughs> We're at six birds, boys and gals. Oh, heck yeah. I honestly thought I'd have a tough time aiming because look at the bead on my shotgun. Slightly behind the silencer. Not really mattering. Four pack. Got one out of that. Ooh, they might be coming back over the top, boys. There's one. Oh, he's going down. <laughs> Woo! I just went for the center of the whole flock punched one out of it there. Oh, I got two out of that flock, actually. Uh, maybe one, I don't know. We better go pick up some birds. Yes! Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Yeah, I did get two. What are you? Big bird, big older bird. And then this guy needs some help. Black check with a little bit of white wing on him. He's cool. Older birds, I knew it. So no one's ever got to hunt these. I sure as heck haven't, at least in about three years. The last time I hunted these particular pigeons was when Flair was down, so a long time ago. 
They just haven't gathered like they used to and they don't pitch out to the fields out this way. I hope he needs some help. Really cool birds today though. Look at that one. He's got some white wing action. See that? Woo, that silencer. She's a bad girl. Little spread today. Little spread. Didn't need much. So there's two coming in on me right here. Look at this. He did. This one. Dad, go down. He down. Boom. Two more. Bites of dust. Woo! You need some help? Ugh. Also, dropped one on the road over here. All right, we are all cleaned up. Let's go get set back down. Oh, got birds decoying. No. Come back. Come on. Dang it. Oh, coming back, coming back. Boom. Yeah. That felt good. Just waited on the shot. Waited on the bird. Didn't take the long shot. See what he would do, you know. Give him a minute to circle, come back, get a little closer, or leave. <laughs> Boy, here in Kansas, we have got so many dove, morning dove that is, back up from the south. And uh, I probably had 10 of them landing my spread. Can't film it, they're too small. They come out of nowhere. <laughs> oh man, am I missing the dove hunt. Drop a comment down below. Are you guys seeing a ton of dove too? Because I am. It's been more and more every single day that I scout, so. But what I really want y'all to do, drop a comment down below. Do any of y'all have a 12 gauge suppressor that you use for hunting? And if you do, I want you to put a comment down there and let me know what brand it is, what brand of shotgun you use. Um, because I'm interested in just knowing how many folks out there have them, use them. I don't think it would be a lot, you know? I've never, I, I would be surprised, but probably very few of us actually out here in the woods sporting the old suppressor so very cool piece reduces the recoil tremendously the sound not much echoing whatsoever <laughs> I was out here in the spread <laughs> that was awesome smoked him baby Woo! No band. We got a bunch of pigeons right here. Holy smokes. If he comes over the top, come over the top, single. Come on. Not gonna do it. Okay. We better hurry up and get back. This little spread, it's working. As you guys can see what's happening, the power lines over there uh those run with these railroad tracks and the railroad tracks I better put this out there uh, the railroad tracks this is a big stop for grain carts and uh there's probably grain all over these railroad tracks as well as grit and the birds have been coming out here for years and years and years eating the grain off the tracks and the grit it's a good source but I knew that it wasn't going to require a big spread, just something pretty. Um, something that they could see with the mojo. There's another flock. See if they'll do it. Oh yeah, two. Get in there. Oh, who? Where's the shell? Where's the shell? Where's the shell? He's looking for his buddy. Oh! Sucker. I used up shells pretty quickly there. That was awesome though. He decoyed perfect. 
So perfect, in fact, I missed right here. There's one. Oh, I missed him. He's a pretty bird. That was awesome. Let's go snatch these guys up. Boy, howdy. If this ain't fun, I don't know what is. We're building up a little pile out here. Not bad. Now, without a dog, a lot of you that have been here know this. Without a dog, I like to put the dead birds in the spread. Pigeons, that is. Not ducks or geese, but pigeons. With a dog, you can't really do that because when I send Fred out there and judge, he don't know what to pick from, right? But kind of like I was saying earlier, uh, these birds, number one, haven't been hunted in a long time. And the last time they were was by me three to five years ago. I don't know, probably four years ago. Um, and if not, they have never been hunted at all. So the first time, this is probably the first time that a lot of these birds have even seen a spinner decoy or a decoy in general. So they've really been fluffy, really comfortable here for a long time. And thank goodness I got from permission from the, uh, from the landowner. Thank you, Sam, for uh, letting me come out here and enjoy myself today. Well, I reckon we go pick up our last bird. He's gonna need some help. Look at him, good old blue check. Adult birds, guys. But I think the morning flight is over with. Uh, I found this feed yesterday afternoon. And in the afternoon, there's probably just as many as in the morning. So I have really been contemplating leaving the spread up and hunting it this afternoon or giving it a break and hunting it another day. I got some buddies coming in town. I wouldn't mind hunting it with maybe two of us, but it's just a small area, small spot. The owner's house is really close. I don't want to be too loud. Uh, he surely didn't mind that it was just me being on a solo hunt, but I would hate to start creating too much racket, if you know what I mean. So I'm just picking up birds. We're gonna get a count on them here. Good shoot. I did miss out on some birds uh, while I was picking up <laughs> this morning. Uh, this is the first hunt, you know, since uh, since snow goose season. So, hadn't been a real long time, but it's been long enough. I got all set up, put all the decoys out, right? Put up my bucket, parked my truck, which is way over there. Camera, ammo, decoys. What else? GoPro, batteries, flock of flickers, tripod. Forgot my shotgun in the truck. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh my goodness. Like that would happen, you know, like that would happen. First, I'm probably rusty, you know, probably a little rusty. <laughs> Forgot the damn gun and silencer in the truck. Dude. I was like, all right, let's get your head screwed on straight here, Bob. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The one flock I missed out on probably could have shot another two out of that. Uh, but not bad. I didn't know how the morning flight was gonna gonna be. I've really only scouted them heavy uh, late, late morning, which all of them are obviously gone by now, and uh, afternoon. So, still planning. On doing some afternoon hunting on these birds. I'm thinking about calling the uh, landowner, see if he'd let me throw out a little bit of corn right here. Uh huh. Get them really loving it and a bunch more of them before I hunt them again. See, with pigeons, there's no rules. So if you're new to the channel, just know everything I did today legal. Uh, you can bait pigeons, in fact, you can bait them, unlike waterfowl. Uh, ducks and geese, you can't go baiting them and then shooting them. That's very highly illegal. They're, they're federal regulated birds. Pigeons are a nuisance bird. They are, uh, there's, there's no season on it. It's just open range, open season. Shoot them all. Oh man, I miss hunting. It seems like uh, every single season when the waterfowl season ends, I'm just waiting to scratch a pigeon hunt, you know? And, uh, I've been trying at the turkey, but man, it's been difficult. It's been extremely windy every single day. As you can see, 
maybe you can't see, I'm sure you can't. We have a uh, good moisture rolling in from the south today. Um, should get some rain. Uh, wind is completely almost knocked off right now, just a little bit of breeze, which is nice. It would have been an excellent morning for turkey hunting, but you know me, the pigeon, first priority. Hope you guys honestly enjoyed this video. Um, the solo hunt, we'll probably be doing more of them like this. Um, if you have not checked out the new suppressor from JK Armament, check it out. I'll link it down below in the description. Awesome folks. Uh, awesome warranty. If you uh, damage this silencer, let me go get it. Look at that duck's decoy bag. Isn't that sweet? Perfect for the pigeon full bodies. But like I was saying, uh, if you damage this, if it gets ran over by a truck, anything like that, <clears throat> they will either fix it or send you a new one. By the way, um, don't be scared to, to purchase one for a gun that you think that, that they may not make one for because, disclaimer, from the horse's mouth, Rich at JK Armament stated to me, he said, make sure you tell your viewers, number one, doesn't matter what shotgun they have, we can make a suppressor for it. If it needs to be threaded, the barrel threaded, we can do it. So custom work across the board, making sure that they can provide any of you folks with any type of equipment out there, with any type of brand of shotgun, anything, a suppressor that'll fit up nice and snug, it'll do what you want, and you will absolutely love it. But that was a good little hunt. I'm excited to hunt the afternoon out here. here at home oh man what a beautiful day if any of y'all are interested in coming to stay at my lodge here in central kansas having the three day hunt of a lifetime i'm telling you don't wait head over to sandhillflywoods.com it's always always every single video i put up down in the description all you got to do is fill out the inquire to book form y'all that's all i'll be reaching out see if we can get something set up for y'all we run uh hunts november through february we have a lot of november dates available january february some december but <laughs> oh boy thank goodness i am a decent shot because i had so many problems difficulties with this camera and the gopro on this one single hunt slash video that I can't even see straight anymore with these cameras. So we got to redo the outro here. But like I was saying, if you guys are interested in coming and duck hunting with me all, don't wait. Dates are going. Not real fast because we're ahead of it right now. So if you want to get ahead of the curve, ahead of everyone else, ahead of the crowd, and grab a beautiful date, don't wait. Fill out the booking form at sandhillflywoods.com. Hopefully my SD card lasts for another 10 seconds while I tell you guys goodbye. Yes, indeed, I am a hunter, not a cameraman, really. I need to go purchase all new SD cards. <laughs> but, guys, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, I did go back and do a pigeon evening hunt, and it was awesome. Please, guys, drop a comment down below if you have any ideas for this new suppressor. I love it. It's so much fun. Uh, on the GoPro, you can really tell how quiet it is compared to the big mic on the big camera. So when I just first started editing it, I listened to it. I'm like, oh, it just sounds like Psh. so awesome. I love the thing. Give me your ideas, please. I want to know them. I want to do the videos that y'all want to see. Thank y'all for being here. But until next time.